Hey everyone, and welcome back to Sports Design School, where we teach you everything you need to know to create high quality sports designs in Adobe Photoshop. Now, I just want to take a moment to say hello to all of our new subscribers. I know we have a bunch over the last few weeks, and I just want to say thank you for subscribing. We're super excited that you're here. If you're new to the channel, I want to take a moment to talk about what we're about here at Sports Design School. There are so many graphic designers, so many artists that they create awesome work, but they don't want to help other people get better at creating designs and things like that. Our goal here is to make you better. That's all we want. So we're going to give you free PSDs, we're going to give you free advice, free tips. Any questions that you have, just send us a message on Instagram and we'd be more than happy to respond and help you with whatever you're dealing with, um, any questions at all. So that's who we are and we're super excited that you are here today. So people ask me all the time, how do I get awesome looking fonts for my designs? And it's true that there are a lot of great fonts that are super expensive. But I'm here today to talk about some of the fonts that are actually free and are still awesome looking that you can use in any design that'll look sharp. And so today I've compiled a list of my top 10 free designs and I'll put the link down in the description so you can download all of them if you want to. These are all courtesy of Google. So it's completely free for you to download. No sketchy viruses or anything. You're completely good. Just hit the download link in the description. And so I'm going to start off with just going step by step through these layers. I just created a document for each one. I'm going to talk a little bit about each one, when you might want to use it, and some of the perks of the fonts. So this font is called Russo One, and it's just a nice, solid font. You want something that's going to look good on everything, Russo One is your go-to. I also kind of like the way the numbers look. Um, the one downside about this font is there's not a bunch of weights to it. So this look is the only look you have, but it's a nice solid font regardless. Then we have Jockey One, and Jockey One's a little bit of a unique typeface. It's a little bit more thin um, and has a little bit more sharp edges at the top and bottom of the font. And again, this could be something awesome. Again, I love these numbers, like look at the five. If you're doing something kind of cool, um, with like a cool text overlay or something and you're looking for a unique font that'll really make your design pop, I definitely recommend checking out Jockey One. Next is this font called Microma. And if you're making a font, or if you're making a design with like a really wide display or something that is kind of wide and thin and you're looking for a text that will fill in that area, I definitely recommend checking out kind of a wider font. And Microma is great for that situation. It's kind of stretched horizontally to where it looks good. It's pretty simple, so it looks great with any kind of font combination you're going for. And it also looks great in any kind of diverse selection of scenarios that you might need a font like this for. So I definitely recommend checking out Microma. Next we have Black Ops 1. And if you're trying to give your design a cool military stencil vibe, Black Ops 1 is the font you're going to want to check out. Now Black Ops 1 is, again, completely free to download in the link in the description, but I just love some of the way these letters look, especially when you start looking at like the V and the X and the Y and the Z, the way the stencil looks on the type itself just looks awesome. So again, if you're putting together a design and you want like a cool stencil effect for your design, I definitely recommend checking out Black Ops 1. Then there's this font called Six Caps. Now there's going to come a time where you're going to want kind of a tall, stretchy, vertical font like this. And Six Caps is a great free option for those of you trying to look for free fonts to add to your collection. Now Six Caps is great um, because again, it's tall and stretchy. I see a lot of people use this kind of font for when they're, they want to add a player's name behind uh, a cutout, for instance. And you don't want the text to cut off like too much when you're putting it behind the player. And so by using a tall vertical font, you're able to still see what the text is saying while still having that effect where it's behind the player. So Six Caps is a great font for that. It's an awesome kind of vertical look for your designs. 
And I just want to remind you guys that as we're going through, I'm going from kind of my number 10 to my number one. So before long, we're going to get into some really awesome fonts that you guys are going to love. And I'll definitely recommend checking out. This font is called Iceberg. And Iceberg is a great font for um, just a really unique look. I mean, look at the typeface. It's something that really stands out and is different than what you normally see. Now, if you follow a lot of design people and you follow the Baltimore Ravens design, um, you'll notice they use a font that's pretty similar to this. And again, it's not exactly the same, but it's one of those really cool, like diverse kind of futuristic looks for a font. Um, some of the numbers look really cool, especially that four. Um, and I love like the way the P's and the R's look. So I definitely recommend checking out Iceberg if you're looking for a kind of futuristic font for your designs. Now before I move on to the next font, if you're just new to the channel and haven't hit the like or subscribe button yet, please do. I promise we're going to give you tons of free informational videos just like this that you're going to love. So don't miss out on the opportunity to hit the subscribe button. Uh, just a little promo. Every couple of weeks we give away free PSDs to all of our subscribers. And the one caveat for that is that those PSD download links are only active for seven days. So just make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of those free PSD giveaways. But let's get let's continue with our countdown. Next is this font called Sakura Petch. And Sakura Petch is an awesome font. And if you're really familiar with design, especially sports design, you'll notice that a lot of teams use a font that's pretty similar to Soccer Petch. And that font is called United. And United is a super expensive font, to be completely honest. I think it's like a few hundred dollars to download the entire set. Um, and Soccer Petch is completely free. And it looks, to be completely honest, very similar to what United is. So Soccer Petch is a way that you can kind of get that cool college uh, United look and feel without having to pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars for the design. The other nice thing about Soccer Petch is it has lots and lots of kind of weights to the font. So you can get bold, you can get regular, you can get extra bold. Soccer Petch has a wide variety. So if you want to use a bunch of different looks for your design, Soccer Petch is a great font for you to check out. And we're getting down to our top two. So number two, I have this font called Sarah One. And to be honest, it looks pretty similar to what like the NFL uses for a lot of their um, graphics and things like that. And so Sarah One, again, just like Soccer Petch, it's great because it has a lot of different weights. And this one I think even has more weights than uh, Soccer Petch does. So that allows you to have lots of different options, lots of different looks. The other thing that's nice about Sarah One is it just holds up. You're going to put this font on any design, and since it's such a sharp font, it's going to carry your design and make it look good. That's the thing, if you're using like a Times New Roman font on a design, of course it's not going to look that great because it's Times New Roman. This font, no matter what you put it on, it's just solid enough to where it'll look good on any design. And we get down to number one on our countdown. My favorite font from Google Fonts, completely free, is this font called Oxnium. Oxnium, I guess is how you pronounce that. And I think this is just a really cool, sharp looking font. It has everything that we're looking for in a font. It's something that will look great on every single design, but it's still unique enough to where it will stand out on any design. The unique features of this font are just kind of like the rounded corners on each of the letters. And you'll see it's just like a really cool, unique look. The numbers look fantastic as well. It's something that looks solid, will hold up on any design, but still is like sporty. Like that's the thing, when you look at a lot of free font videos, it's just like a bunch of fonts that will look good on like maybe like a t-shirt or whatever. But we're looking for s s fonts that we can use for um, sports designs that we can use and will actually look like sporty and fit into the designs we are coming up with. And Oxonium, I think is how you pronounce that, is the perfect font for that. Now I want to make a quick note. If you guys really like this video, make sure you give it a like. And if we get, let's just say, 
15 likes on this video. We'll drop a part two to this video with 10 more fonts that we recommend giving away um, for you to check out. And it's gonna be awesome and there's gonna be loads of more fonts um, and you guys are gonna love it. So make sure you hit a like on this video. Uh, as always, if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button for all the reasons we've already stated. Um, but guys, this has been Sports Design School. Hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more.